Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at how a JavaFX graph can be made. So we're going to start with like a really, really simple uh, version of this. Now we're doing this in JavaFX 15, but I've tested it for JavaFX 11. It won't work with JavaFX 16 yet. I'm um, having trouble getting that loaded on, but 15 and 11 does work. Okay, and, and this is a JDK 14 as well on IntelliJ 2020 uh, version 1. Okay, so this is the sample or default application that we have for JavaFX. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in some stuff in here. Okay, so we got our main class right here. And uh, so what I need to do is I need to set, um, uh, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to set the, the size of the graph. All right, so we're going to have two variables in here. So private static final, so an integer. So max value of in the x-axis, we're going to make this equal to, so we're going to make that equal to 50. And then we're going to do private static final int. And this is going to be the max value in y. Okay, so these are like constants, okay? So we're going to make this, um, we're going to make this 50 as well. Okay, actually we'll make it slightly different so you can see the difference. So there's 60, okay? So these two right here are x axis max value for the graph. Okay, we're going to make a line chart. Okay. Um, and then this is going to be the y axis max value. All right. So next up, we are going to let's move this up over here. There's my main method right there. Okay. And there's not much to it. Basically, what we're doing is we're launching inside of it. Okay. That's, that's what's going on inside of the main uh, method for this JavaFX application. So next up, in JavaFX, we typically are overriding the, the start, okay? And uh, and here we're, we're setting up our stage. Okay, the stage is, is the scenario under which the, um, the, 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 the graphical user interface is, is sort of showing. Okay, so we're gonna set this up and I'm going to go like this. I'm just gonna erase that and let's just set it up properly or differently, let's say differently. Okay, so there we go. So we got our start, and what we're going to do here is we are going to create a um, a list using generics. Okay, generics are when when you see those the greater than and less than sign. Okay, this is an advancement in the in the Java language. Started around I don't know Java five, and um, and and became really useful in by Java eight and Java nine and that. Anyway, so here we're going to set up a list, and we're going to use this list to contain values inside of the um, the graph. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go list of type line chart. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, line charts like this. Okay, and we're gonna have two values. We're gonna make a list with x and y values. So we're gonna have number in the x and number in the y. We're not committing to what kind of number it is. This could be a floating point. It could be a, an integer, etc. We're not gonna commit to it at this stage. Okay, and uh, we're gonna call the variable that we want everything to be in, we're going to call it data. Now, you can see that right now we're being prompted to see if we want to have, we, if we want to import JavaFX scene chart, line chart, and the answer is yes. So I'm going to go Alt Enter, and it should have, yep, yeah, right there. It imported it right there. That's good. So data is set. It's not being used yet. We're going to figure out how to do that in a second. Okay. So now we're going to go uh, data is equal to, and we're going to make a list of data points. Okay, this is the, we're not going to, we're, this is going to be the easiest way to set up just a bunch of numbers, okay, to, to work with. So, uh, and yes, we want Java to list. So Alt, Enter, like that. So we're going to do an import of that. So list of, and, um, and so now I'm going to have a bunch of new points. All right. There we go. So, my uh, my list. I'm going to have a new data point. So new line chart dot data. So we're looking at generics right here. So one and one. So point one and one. See just like that. Um, then I'm just going to go to the next line like this. So new line chart dot data. And what data points am I going to put in? Let's say I'm going to do one and two. actually, you know what? We're going up to fifty and sixty. So why don't we go uh, 10 and 15 
And then on X here, we're going to go 15 and 20. So we can actually see this. Then we're going to go, whoops, got to change that little spelling mistake that I got right there. New line chart dot data. And we're going to do, uh, let's see, on X, let's make that 20. And on Y, let's make that uh, 30. And then we're going to do another point right here. New line chart dot data. And we're going to make this uh, 25. And we're going to make Y, let's make it uh, 2. Let's make it really low. And that should be, I think, all we need. Like so, in that with the semicolon, whoops, and that should be two, like that. So I believe we've got a complete list. Okay, so uh, next we're going to, um, let me see, var x axis is equal to, number axis like that, let's, uh, let's label stuff, okay. And we go to zero, max x like that. So we're going to create the x-axis now. Oops. Create the x-axis bar y. Axis equal to new number axis like that. Y. Oh, I should do that differently there. No, I don't need that. I should be right there. Zero max y like that. Okay, and we want to create the y axis. Let me change this up here. Capital Y. Fix that little typo. And it knows that it's supposed to be 60. All right. So then we go var series is equal to new xy chart dot series fx collections. Now we're bringing uh, some Java FX components. We're going to put in observable list. I'm going to pass data into it. Oops. That. Then we do var line chart is equal to new line chart like that. X axis, y, oops, y axis like that. FX collections dot single ten. Observa, whoops, observable list. Yep, like that. And we're going to pass series into it. So we define series there. We're going to pass in there. And semicolon. This creates the chart. Like so. Next up, we're going to put a title in. Line chart dot set title. And you know what? I do want the FX collections. So we go Alt Enter. And there I want X, Y chart. So we're going to do that import. Okay, set title. My line chart. Like that. And then let me see. So we want. Ooh, I also need to set my stage light. Okay. Stage dot set title my chart. It's not stage, it's primary stage. Primary stage is right there. Okay. Uh, next up, we're going to do our scene. New scene. 
line chart. We're setting up how big the window is going to be. This creates JavaFX window. And we're going to go stage dot set. Oh, primary stage. Primary stage dot set scene. Bring scene into it. Primary primary stage dot we're gonna call the show method like that. Alright. Let's put on there. Okay, we're going to run it. And there we are. We've got the chart right there. And I realize what my mistake was right there into lowercase l. Try that again. Bingo. Right, there we go. So my chart right there, my line chart, we're good. Mm -hmm.